So now let's uh, take a look around the Stetson Hatters roster okay. for the 2010 season. We'll start in the back row. What, you know, what uh, do we have to look forward to at libero and defensive specialist? Um, well, Monique Russell is going to be our libero this year. Um, Monique had a great spring um, and has just continued along those lines this preseason. Uh, she just is a digging machine, and um, I'm really excited to have her in that position. Um, she's doing a great job leading the back row as well, um, so very excited um, about that libero position. Um, DS's uh, Sabrina Dodd will be filling in that role as well as uh, one of our new walk-ons, Carrie Dunn. Um, you know, uh, they they have the ability to play any of the three back row positions um, for anybody at any time. So um, they play a vital role um, and will be used um, throughout the season at any one of those three positions in the back row. And at setter, the quarterback of the volleyball team, as I like to think of them, yeah. a Sun All Freshman team member Kelly Carneal returns. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Kelly um, is feeling better. Um, you know, it took a while in the spring for her to get up to full strength, but Kelly's doing very well. Um, she and Megan Stewart, our backup setter, have been having great practices, and I'm really, really pleased with the progress they've made during preseason. And I'm excited to see um, both of them play. They've been doing a good job working on their setting footwork, um, their set, the options that they have with different hitters, um, as well as their defense. So. Um, Kelly's playing really, really well right now, and I'm excited for this weekend. I'm excited to see them all play. And up front, uh, middle blocker, uh, returnees in, at this position include Sam Freeman, mm -hmm. and I think you have a newcomer you're very excited about. I do. Um, Sam Freeman is going to be um, playing middle hitter uh, again for us. Um, Sam's been working hard. Um, you know, we don't have very many middles on our roster, so they don't have really much choice. They have to keep working hard. But Sam's been doing a good job, been working hard on her blocking. Um, her offense has always been pretty good. Um, it's getting stronger, um, and she's been really working hard on her blocking. So um, that's been a real key point for us. Um, our newcomer, Ellen Hawks, um, has been doing a great job. For her, even for somebody not her size, for somebody shorter, Ellen's very quick, um, very aggressive. Um, she's been catching on offensively very quickly. Um, usually, uh, you know, that's the toughest part of uh, middle hitting is uh, catching on to the offense um, as a freshman. But she's been doing a great job. She's a good blocker. I, I, I mean, whether she's beside Brandy or Kelly, that's a great block on that right side. So she's been doing a good job for us, um, working hard. And then our backup middle, Leslie Armstrong, um, is back again this year, and we're really excited about that. So between the three of them, I, I feel pretty comfortable at that position. Okay. And would you say that outside hitter is a position where you have more depth this year than perhaps oh, last I, season? I think that goes without saying. Um, we have two uh, incoming freshmen in, uh, we call her Mel, uh, Kaylee Melville and uh, Katie. I'm not going to, Katie, I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to pronounce your, your name right now. She, she told me it was Di Girolamo. <laughs> right, and, and I'll go with that. Um, so, um, but Mel and Katie have been doing a great job for us um, and really help us um, at that outside hitter position. And then Stephanie Camfield and Kaylee Ream have uh, they worked hard over the spring and I, and I know worked hard over the summer. And to have four people that can come in at any time and play those positions is great. And they're all four doing an excellent job and been working really, really hard for us. So I'm excited about that position. Okay, and just in conclusion, if you could talk well, a little... Well, i got to talk about my right side hitters. Right side hitters, all right, there's one, one more position, sorry about that, folks. That's all right. Uh, Brandy Whirlton and, and Maddie Armstrong, Armstrong Anderson, sorry, um, have been also just working so, so hard, and, and I really can tell that uh, Madison spent a long time this summer um, not just working out, but really working on her back row skills. Um, and I think Madison's really going to do a good job for us in the back row as well as the front row. And I was really, really excited to see that. Brandy's a lot stronger that, than she was last fall. She, that was one of her goals was to be stronger. And it's made a big difference in her game. 
And I'm telling you, there are times, that, you know, with when she's blocking next to Ellen, that's a big wall. I don't think there's going to be anybody in the conference who has a bigger block than that. So I'm excited about that. And uh, I think that position will be well filled by either one of them. And talk about uh, just some of your goals for the upcoming season. What, what do you want to see out of your team starting with this weekend and as we progress throughout the year? Well, I think this is a big weekend for us, um, you know, being the first weekend. And, and we can kind of gauge and see where we're at. Um, it's a little bit, this season's a little bit different than last year, whereas we only had two tournaments to kind of tune ourselves up for conference play, and then boom, we were, we were in conference. So um, I tried to schedule tournaments that um, I thought would get us ready for conference play and would be at the same caliber of, of about the top four teams in the conference so that we'd be playing the same speed as those four top teams and... Um, and learning how to win. So, you know, I, it's going to be interesting um, to see where we're at after this weekend because I was really positive and excited, and then we had not such a great practice last night, but, I, you know, that happened, so I have to just try and um, keep my enthusiasm down a little bit. But I think we should do well this weekend, and uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what we can do. All right. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. For more on Sets and Hatters Volleyball, visit our official website at www.gohatters.com and be sure to follow us on Twitter at StetsonSID, twitter.com slash StetsonSID. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Head Coach Cheryl Carlson.